you'll find that the themes on Theme Forest and Elegant Themes, although they look like million dollar themes, they do tend to come with a bit of complexity. And if you're very new to WordPress, which I gather you are if you're, if you're following this course, they can be a little overwhelming. Um, in, in the next session after this one, I'll show you going through the process of installing one of those Theme Forest themes. Um, and I'm always just worried about doing it because it can be a little intimidating at first. And it's not that it's really complicated or hard, but each theme operates differently. There's no standard. So each theme is going to have its own way of extending WordPress and giving you new options to control that theme. And so each theme you have to just kind of figure out and look at the documentation and, and play along. Um, but I'll, I'll walk you through one of those. For right now, I want you to, sh to, to get a better look for our website, but choose a easier to, to use theme. Um, I've already got one installed here and I'm going to ask you to install the same one. Um, it is a free theme unless you choose to upgrade. Um, go to add new theme in your WordPress administration console. Uh, choose browse and then search. And the one that you want is called Alexandria. And it's this one. Now mine's already saying already installed. In your case, uh, choose that one and click the install button and activate it. So let me go to my themes. I'm going to activate Alexandria. So you should be at the same stage as I am and we've activated that. Now if we refresh our home page, um, wow, look at that. It's starting to look a lot nicer. Um, it's it almost looks like our site. We have our heading daily host deals, uh, my new daily deal site. So it's preserved that. But wow, overall, it's just looking a, a lot better than what we had earlier. Um, and this theme is kind of nice because it's walking me through. It says, um, you know, to select a menu to appear here in the dashboard appearance menus. And you've already learned about menus. So our main menu isn't showing here anymore, but it's because we've changed the theme. So let's go take a look at the menu. Um, and in this theme, um, we still have my main menu and it's I have to check this box because it's, it's a new theme and it's got a primary menu location. Let's, so let's just check that box and save it. And let's go back here and click refresh. Great, look at that. There's our, our menu showing. Um, we do have a bit of a word wrap issue here. If, uh, could make my browser bigger, but um, since I'm recording, I don't want to uh, make it much bigger, but you can make yours bigger. But so there's our menu showing, that's great. Um, let's see over here what's going on. Now, uh, here's some placeholder content where we can add some additional data. And there's our, our homepage, welcome to our site. That was our original first page. So that's still there. We just got some additional content up here, which is great. Um, this theme also tells us how to change this content. Uh, you can change this text in slider one settings of the theme options page. So let's go take a look. Now that you've got this theme, let's go look at the theme options by clicking here. And let's see what we've got. We can choose the different skin under the general section. Um, I'm going to stick to the blue for right now. Uh, logo section. Now we can upload a logo. Um, now this is saying it's available in the pro version only to upload a new logo. Um, so that's fair enough. This is the free version of the theme. Um, and there, you know, you can you can manually in, insert a logo. But if you want to use this feature, that's part of the, uh, the theme. Um, and let's see, let's go into um, the header. And so you can use their header or you can use a custom header. And if you upgrade to the pro version, you can use more headers. Let's just continue to, to use those. Do we want to show it on the home page? Yes. So let's just leave those defaults. So let's adjust those header one settings. And again, these are new options that this theme has given me and it's telling me I can change it in that slider one settings. So let's go and we'll change this to Welcome to Acme Corporation. And we'll add text. We are the premier corporation to find you daily hosting deals. And then you can have a call to action such as, you know, uh, 
contact us now and then that would be the link maybe to your contact page um, which we can add in later let's save that and I'm going to come back here and hit refresh and look at that welcome to Acme Corporation we are the premier corporation to find you daily hosting deals and that contact us we should link to this about contact us so let's go get the page if you remember you added that contact us in an earlier lecture I'm going to, I'm going to control C this content and let's go back into this header one settings and that'll be the link for our contact us call to action let me save those options now when I hit refresh here um, let's go to the home page right now if we try the contact us and that takes us to the contact us page which is a page you already created but you can see this site is starting to look much much nicer and more professional um, and it gives you an option here for a welcome headline it's, it tells us you can change this text in the welcome text box of the welcome section block in biz one tab of the theme option so let's take a look at here's the biz one theme options um, so this welcome headline let's make it um, here are a few of our services please browse our website to see what we offer and you can upload images for these three sections you can see there's three sections there's the left middle and right and then there's a quote as well um, I'm not going to change those images um, but let's keep the quote and we'll change the quote to Acme Corp was the friendliest people I've dealt with and the customer name was Chris D as my testimonial and we'll save those options let's go ahead and refresh and look at that so here are a few of our services please browse our website and there's our quote of Acme Corp being the friendliest people they've ever dealt with um, so you can see how this theme is really making us look like a much more professional site we still have all our pages there's our products page um, in our internal product page all those things we created previously are still there and we've just got a much nicer looking home page um, and even our in you know, our contact us link from the home page and all of that looks great with this this black bar at the top um, of course this theme we can come and change the colors so you know let's go with the uh, we can try the red and let's save those options I'll come back here and hit refresh go to the home page and you can see now it's the red welcome to Acme Corporation so that should give you a good sense of how a well-written theme um, is very easy to actually change and add content and now this website really starts looking like a very professional theme now you'll find the, the themes that you get from certain companies are a lot easier to use than others this one for example as you've seen is very easy to use the one I'm going to show you in the next lecture is incredibly powerful and sophisticated but you'll see it comes with additional complexity so I don't want you to get scared by the next one but I'm just trying to give you a sense of how you can get advanced with your themes but a theme like this one for example is perfectly satisfactory so you know browse the themes that are available and then choose one that you like and maybe read the reviews and see what it takes try the demos and see which one is easy to modify you've seen this one is incredibly easy to modify um, it even tells you where to find the section to modify it so enjoy it play around with it and uh, we'll go into a more advanced theme in the following lecture